It is extremely cold. Siberia is one of the coldest places in the world and it drops down to about minus 50 degrees regularly during winter. My name is Josh Snodgrass. I'm an associate professor of anthropology at the University of Oregon. So living in those environments expose people to chronic and severe cold stress. What we've seen people do over time is ramp up their metabolic rates in order to respond to the cold. So for the most part, we're looking at metabolic analyzers in order to measure oxygen usage and, and carbon dioxide production. That is our way of trying to understand how many calories people are using and how humans respond to different environments. And we're starting to see many of the same things that we see in other parts of the world in the context of globalization. That is, people are experiencing more obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular disease. All of those are, are issues that, that people are starting to struggle with in Siberia. Questions are really everything, and trying to build on or pick apart previous research is really what I look for in terms of scientists. And so, you know, I do a lot of recruiting of people who are graduate students or undergrads, and really what I look for people who are just innately curious. That is, people who are always asking questions, are never satisfied with the knowledge, and they're really not doing it to get anything except for their own intellectual satisfaction. What we're doing here is creating a safe place for curiosity to flourish. One of the things that I really like to do with, with undergraduates is really just show them what's out there. That is sort of make science accessible to them. And what I try to do is get them into labs, and it's a way of demystifying science. I think this educational experience for undergrads is, is so important. I really like the fact that we're training people as undergrads who are going to go off into different parts of society and do different things. I want people to see what goes on in labs and how science operates as a way of demystifying that at a larger scale in society. Thank you.